on paint by Nate here for another another week I guess um, today I'll be painting along with Bob one episode and then I have another painting that I want to get done with a kind of a seascape uh, mountainish scene it's gonna have some sea stacks in it I don't know if you're familiar with those but I'll be I'll be doing some of those but this first one I'm just going continuing the Bob Ross thing I'm trying to finish up every episode by June maybe maybe June maybe not I don't know yet um, we'll see we'll see how it goes looking more like uh, August or something so but yeah this episode is let me check real quick I think it's called Purple Mountain yeah Purple Mountain Range it's in season 26 episode 10 so I'll be doing this one and then I'll be doing one afterwards just a simple seascape mountain type thing so yeah I'll be working on that um, palette today some Windsor and Newton water mix oils, some uh, Lucas Berlin's. So this is cadmium yellow hue, yellow ochre, uh, naphthol red or cadmium red light, titanium white, alizarin crimson. This is ultramarine. ultramarine. I'm using it in place of phthalo blue and then uh, Prussian blue, ivory black, phthalo green. And this giant blob is uh, I believe dark sienna. I had a problem with the tube was stuck and I squeezed it too hard and it just kind of shot out like that. That's why it's a giant blob. And then this is just raw umber. So let's get started. We're going to start with the ultra marine on a two inch brush. And this is a trilon brush because I'm using water mixable oils today. Uh, these are the only brushes I found that I can wash them multiple times in the water and they don't poof out. We're going to do some little X strokes across the top. And this canvas is a little loose, so I didn't spray it with water beforehand. Probably should have. But it'll be okay. It will be okay. And I found that the ultramarine isn't as strong. Hello. Hello, Skylancer. How are you doing? I'm just going to put some sky colors up in here. Go across that way, across that way. Probably throw some clouds in here too. What are you painting? This is uh, just, I'm painting along with an episode of Bob Ross. It's, it's going to be like a mountain range landscape type deal. Throw some water in left to right. This side right to left just pull in kind of looks like water and then I'll just blend this out above it and I'll go all the way across there we go doing pretty good gonna wash my brush and this is water so I'm using water mixed with oil so it's just water and a little bit of soap. I just shake it out in the trash can. There. And then wipe it off in a paper towel because you don't want to take water and put it back up here. It'll smear and be terrible. All right. For some reason, these the paint's not washing off. Just, I hope I didn't use these for oil paints earlier. I don't think I did. Maybe I did. I don't know. We gotta get this pigment out of here. There we go. All right, now I'll get the two and a half inch brush here. And I'm gonna take this uh, titanium white, just on the edge, I guess. I'm gonna throw on some clouds, some simple clouds though. Something like this. And I think most of this painting's gonna be mountains, so I'm not really too concerned with these yet. this one up a little bit may throw one up here there we go and then I'm gonna wipe the white paint off real quick just so it doesn't make it more light and then I'm gonna blend the bottoms out just with a little circle motion just like this something like that that's all I'm doing swing these ones around and then we pull 
At some point I need to cut this top part off because it's getting in the way pretty often. But now it's okay. There we go. Some wispy looking clouds out here. Now I'm gonna take the palette knife. We're gonna grab crimson, black, phalo or ultramarine, whatever blue you got. Mix them up. There we go. Starting the top, go down and to the right, gives you a little roll. And we're gonna we're gonna throw in some mountains. How big do we want? I want like a giant one maybe. There's a big one. And then maybe let's do one right, right there. And I just kind of blend out the bottom a little bit. Alright. Now we're gonna we're gonna throw this one in. Maybe a little one there. You don't think you could paint? I think you could, if you just practice. I know a lot of people, I mean, I felt that way when I started. My first painting was just a bunch of blobs. <laughs> and, you know, people were like, oh, that's nice, that's a nice painting. But I don't think they, they were just being nice. <laughs> it just took, takes a long time to get good at stuff these days. I'm just okay. I'm taking this two inch brush and I'm just pulling it down. This kind of gives the mountain some shape and it blends out the brush marks too, which is good. But you don't have to do the mountains this way if you don't want to. There's, there's a lot of ways to do mountains. Mm -hmm. I'm just blend out the bottoms there. There we go. Now we got some mountains there. I'm just kind of wiping the whatever colors I had on there on this towel. And these are shop towels, they're not regular paper towels. It's a little stronger, a little, a little bit stronger. If you have shaky hands so you can't keep a steady line, that is not actually a bad thing. A lot of people think that if you're doing tree branches, the shaky hand is actually really nice. And there are a lot of people on, uh, Twitter that like those types of paintings with like sharp motions and things. So don't count yourself out yet. Huh? You can do it. Just give it a shot. All right, I'm gonna take some white white paint here. I think I had some blue on there, so this might be a light blue, but that's fine. Should be fine. Maybe a little bit more. If we're gonna highlight all these, we're gonna need some. some Hefty paint here. All right. Oh, he doesn't want a bright mound. Let's see. Maybe just a little bit less. We're going to the left. There's a subtle mountain, so I'm pulling down more than I normally would. All right. And then we're going to do one here. Some here. Just, I'm just pulling straight down. Very gentle. Nothing. Nothing crazy yet. No. No brute force or anything. All right. We're gonna do this guy. Just throw in some highlights. Maybe these ones. I'm just gonna rub in the paint because these ones I want farther away. And I missed the peak. Should have done this one. I don't know why I forgot them. Just pulling straight down. There we go. I want to sharpen this side up just a little bit. There we go. I'm just scraping the white paint, and I'll blend this out here in a bit. Wipe the knife off. Get the two-inch brush that we've been we've been doing. Yeah. 
Bob Ross has painted this before. Yeah, I have seen the, uh, I do watch the, the live stream on Twitch that they do. It's pretty nice. It's nice that they have those for free. A lot of, um, a lot of channels, they put those types of things behind paywalls. So it's nice that they'll have them up for free. I'm going to use some of this blue, some white, maybe the mountain color. A little bit more white. The shadow color I'm going to use here. I'm just going to pull this one. Something like that. Probably should have done this before I highlighted or pulled the sides up or bottoms up. That's okay. That's okay. Pull this one down. There we go. There we go. Scrape this off here. Some ochre, some red. Just like an orange, dark orange maybe. Not too much. Just scraping this in. And then I'll take that two inch brush again. So look, I guess maybe like trees or something. There we go. Blend that out just a little bit. Maybe this one too. That one, that one. There we go. What types of things do you like to draw or paint? I like mountains mostly, although I have been doing a lot of seascapes and I've I enjoy those a little bit more. They're not as uh, they're not as complicated as mountains, I think. Little seascapes, just some headlands and palm trees. Probably my favorite thing to paint. All right, what are we doing now? Do I want to throw in some darker color? Maybe some black. Some of that, just a little bit of that color. It's a very dark gray, I think. And then we're gonna throw that in down here. This is like a very small hill up in front. Not quite a mountain. We're doing just little tiny circles here. There we go. Scrape this off here. All right, knife's clean. Palette's clean. All right. Just cleaning up space because I got a lot of colors here. I don't know if I'm going to use them again. Put that up there. Put that down here. this up. Now I'm using a wooden palette. I know a lot of people use plastic ones, but I, I like the, the wooden ones. They don't glare as much and you don't have to sand them to get them to not be glaring. It's just natural in the wood. You're colorblind to certain blues? I am too. I actually can't see purple. Um, and I can't see certain shades of blue, like light blue and white I get mixed up. It's kind of a pain. But there's one guy, um, I don't think his videos are available anywhere, but his name is uh, Robert Warren. And when he tells certain colors to use, he measures them in inches. So he'll say like, use an inch of this color and an inch of that color and mix them together. And that makes this other color. So there's not like, I don't have to guess, which is nice. When I paint with Bob, Bob Ross or that Bill Alexander videos, you gotta, they just say, use these colors, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And a lot of times I end up with 
just random, <laughs> random colors. I don't know if they look right or not. All right, I think this is the mountains done here. I'm just wiping off the paint on this two and a half inch brush in case I want to blend something. Black, blue, Prussian blue, dark blue, phthalo green, crimson. This is a very dark color. I have no idea what color it is, but it hopefully looks like a tree color. That's what I'm, this is one of the things I'm talking about. These, these, they just say mix these colors together. I have no idea what color this is. All right, fan brush in that dark color that I just mixed. And we're gonna throw in some evergreen trees here. One there, maybe another one right here. And I like doing the tops first, just so I know where, roughly where they're gonna go. And then I just push in. This is blue or green. Hope it's green. Maybe dark green. If not, I guess that's okay. As long as it looks kind of like a tree. That's what I'm going for. It just looks very black, yeah. I hope it's black. I don't know. It's just a dark color. I'm going to put in some colors that look like trees. And you do that just by tapping like that. Very simple. And then I'll throw in another one right there. The big one. Big tree. We're not that big, but big enough. Uh, let's see. I have enough paint for one more little guy over here. There we go. Got some nice little trees here. I feel like I could fit one more in over there. Maybe I'll put a giant one over there. Giant, giant, there we go. <laughs> All right, there we go, we got that in. I'm gonna throw in some more. And once it gets down to this bottom part, I'm just hitting straight in because it's mixed with that other tree and we'll separate them with some highlights. All right, and we gotta reflect these, so one there. One there, one there, one there. One that tall, one that tall, this tall, and then one giant one goes all the way down. All right, so we got that. I'm just tapping down, make it look kind of like reflections. Now we'll go grab this two inch brush. Pull down, and now pull across. Simple reflections. There we go. And then we'll grab this one, palette knife. I think this blob of paint has moved. That's not good. It's very loose paint. This is a fresh tube of Lucas Verlin Burnt Sienna. I'm not gonna use that brand of paint anymore. It does not work very good very well it's like uh the tubes are so inconsistent like this one is almost a liquid but you don't want that when you're doing this kind of painting but then this other one like this white one that's pretty much solid i don't know i just get tired of inconsistent paints after a while all right we did that we did that what else do we need to do I kind of want to highlight them. Maybe, maybe. Actually, I'm just going to pull this out more. Make it look more like a shoreline. A lot of times when I do stuff with the palette knife, I put too much paint down, and then when I try to put paint on top of it, it just smears everywhere. So if I pull it down with the fan brush first, I don't have to deal with that. All right. Go into this yellow. Cadmium yellow, this is cadmium yellow hue, which is Hansa yellow. Alright, we're 
gonna throw in some. Is that even gonna stick? Maybe. Don't look like it. Don't look like it's sticking. But I think that's kind of the point for this part because it's so far back. It doesn't need to stick. All right, we did that, and now we're gonna go back in. I'll use that dark yellow since it's already dirty. These are evergreens, they don't need to be bright here. And I'm gonna push up. Wherever I put a branch before, that's where I try to hit. At least roughly, the same area. So I have one there, I'm gonna try to hit that one. One there, big one there. One up here. Well, I think I've said this, I said this a while back. Oh, sorry. What do you do with your paintings when you finish them? Most of them are in, they're in a pile back there. Uh, sometimes I put them on Etsy, but most of the time I don't because you have to pay, you have to pay a fee for a month to put them on Etsy and I don't, I just don't want to do that. So I just leave them in a box usually. They just kind of hang out in that box or in a box back there, pile. And I have, a I have a bunch of boxes down in my garage that are just filled with paintings that I've done. If there's ever a garage sale in my neighborhood, I'll probably just take them out there and say, free, free box of paintings. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take this white paint here. And I'm gonna scrub in a, this is gonna be a water line. There we go. I'm just going straight left to right and pulling. There we go. Get another towel here. Whoops, almost yanked the whole thing off there. That wouldn't have been good. Spilled water all over the floor. Ooh. All right. When you finish the painting, can I see them? Yeah, you can. Uh, I might be able to take the camera around. If not, I can put a picture on my Instagram later or my Twitter. All right, I'm gonna make a rock here. I'm gonna use that green color I made the trees with, but add some dark sienna to it. All right. All right, All right. we're gonna put this, where are we gonna put this rock? Uh, I wanna put them right here. This is more like a boulder. Big old boulder. Scrub that in. And then we're gonna throw in maybe another little one back behind him. I just gotta remember to highlight them separately. There we go. Alright, and now we're gonna go back to this fan brush. I'm just, I'm just gonna eyeball this. I'm gonna put some big trees up here, fill in this space because there's a big space there. They don't look quite right. I'm gonna use black and blue. I don't know, hopefully it's a little darker than those ones, but big old tree. Big old tree there. Yeah. Maybe a little one. Little friend. This is just black and Prussian blue here. And these are pointing up, so we're just gonna something like this. All right, I need some more paint here. Black and blue. I'm just trying to get down to the rock here. I might cover them up, and that's okay. Yeah, there we go. We're covering up these rocks. We didn't need those rocks anyway. <laughs> he puts birds in this painting? He might. There, towards the end of the seasons, he does put, he starts putting more wildlife in his paintings, which is nice. Little egrets and swans, cranes, seagulls. It's pretty nice. All right, we got two big trees. I feel like I should do something with this rock here. He's looking kind of unfriendly. This is an unfriendly rock. I want them to look friendly, so I'm going to add some white, this yellow ochre that I had relocated down there. 
This might be too light. Not light enough. Get some sienna. There we go. Something like this. I'm just gonna highlight them. Just give them, give them some shapes. And we'll try and get that little rock that we put back there. And then something there. And then we'll fill in all this area with plants, plants and whatnot. All right. Uh, yeah, we got, we got time. Just throwing in some dark greenish color here. And then I'm going to go over here, smack it in, just smack it in some paint, some dark colors. Just filling in the space. There we go. And we'll go back to this brush. Pull down, pull down, pull down. Left to right. There we go. Now, one inch brush. And actually, I'll use some oil here. Just a little. No, 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 no. Not regular oil. Let's just use liquid white. And this is liquid white that I made because they don't make it for water mixed oils. But it's uh, just linseed oil and white paint. So I'm just going to mix these up. Maybe I try and get some yellow in there. There we go. Just throwing in some shrubs and stuff. Throw one in there. One in there. Maybe one back here. Some right there. One down here. One down there. Maybe one right on the edge. He's just hanging out. There we go. One sticks up. There we go. Oh, I gotta go. Go back from this. There we go. All right. So we got this big old rock. Two rocks. Two trees. I can't remember if I highlighted those or not, but. I'm going to add in some highlights anyway. Might use some more phthalo green. This white. It should be dark, very dark green. Or mint green? I don't know. I'm just tapping in. So I'm tapping in right here. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. And I don't want to go down because that would mess up those. So. I think we're good. I think this is. I think we're done with this one. So I'm going to use the old script liner and some linseed oil, and then I'm going to swirl it around in this red paint here. Uh, where do we want to sign? I'll sign up here. A little signature. And W J. And then I always try to put the date, just or the year, not the date. Two, two. Just so I remember when I painted something. There we go. All right. And then here in a bit, I'm gonna clean up, clean up the old palette. Doesn't look like he put a. Is the boulder yellow because of the sunlight? Yeah, that's kind of what I was doing. The lights over here, hitting the hitting the uh, boulder. I might smooth this out though, it's a little messy. This corner is a little messy. And to smooth stuff out, I just kind of touch it more with the, with the knife, pull it around. There we go, something like that. Just cleans it up a little bit. All right, so we're gonna wipe these guys off. And then I'll cut to the the intro and I'll try to see if I can get my camera off of there to walk it around might be a little tricky we'll see we'll see all right I'm just gonna wipe that guy off all right we got those done we'll take this one down see how it looks in the uh, up close there we go there's the painting Bob Ross, season uh, 
26th, episode 10. Trying to. It's supposed to be purple now. I think I just made them white. So. <laughs> that happens sometimes. But, all right. So that one's pretty good. Let's see if I can aim the camera down over here. I don't know. Is that visible? Yeah, that's where all my paintings are. Over. Right over here. All those uh, clear things. Clear uh, wrapped. I always wrap them in, uh, I forget what it's called. Graph. Uh, it's some type of paper that you wrap them in. The camera's crooked, sorry. I didn't put it back straight. That's going to be really annoying people. Here we go. All right, so I'll go put this down back there in the pile. <laughs> I'm going to cut to the uh, cleanup screen. I'll be back. Usually takes like two or three minutes, sometimes longer, depending on how much paints and stuff. Yeah, there, yeah, there is like, there's quite a few and there's more downstairs. So I have quite a few, but I'll be back here in a second.
All right, I think I'm back. Cleaned up a bit. Got some uh, some new new canvas here, new paints. Um, I haven't applied anything to the canvas yet, but I'm gonna be doing that here in a sec with, this is just uh, linseed oil and titanium white. I call it liquid white, but it's just a very thin white paint. And this is a two, uh, two inch Trilon brush. And I'm just gonna get the canvas wet here. Just kind of scrub the paint in there. Get it in between all the, all the weaves of the canvas. And this, this painting, it's not a Bob Ross or Bill Alexander or any of those. This is just, uh, I wanted to paint mountains and I wanted to paint a uh, seascape. So the fusion of those two things is what's called a sea stack. Uh, if you've been, a, in, been to Oregon or that area or the coastal areas, I don't know where folks are from, but they have big pillars, big, big mountains just kind of sitting out there on the coast. Very beautiful. So I'm just gonna do a, I'm just gonna do one of those. And I didn't, uh, I didn't put masking tape or anything on it to, to show where the horizon should be or any of that. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna eyeball it, see what happens. I'm just getting the, getting a base coat of liquid white on the canvas first. And this is so I don't have to mix as many colors manually on the palette, saving some time. Some little circles here, X strokes, really however you can find to get it into the canvas is how, that's how you should do it. I don't have a preferred way, I just kind of do whatever works for that painting. And I always forget to do this bottom one, this bottom line here, so I'm just trying to Make sure I remember to do that. All right. Left, right, left, right, left. And I do that to wipe off extra paint that might be on there. And I'm gonna clean this, this brush here. Make sure he's good, and good to go until next time. I won't be using it again. At least this brush. I have a brush specifically for applying the liquid light. One thing I found is that the, for whatever reason, my liquid white mixture makes my brushes sticky and I haven't figured out why yet. Once I do figure it out, then I'll recommend or tell people <laughs> why, why it's happening. Or if you know, if anyone in the chat knows why that might be happening, let me know. Cause I would greatly appreciate not having sticky brushes. All right. So he's cleaned off. Whew. Put this guy down. It's very hot up here today too. I think it's 87 or something crazy out. All right, let's see, let's see. Let's see what we're gonna do. I think what the kind of sky I want to go with here, I just want like reddish, reddish maybe peach color, that type of sky. I don't know how to explain it. I want like a peach, like an orangish color, light orange at the horizon goes up into maybe a crimson color, and then at the top, maybe blue? I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out though. I'm just trying to make sure my stream is not dyed yet, because sometimes my uh, when I do that transition, it freezes and ruins the stream. But I think it's good. I haven't seen a total, total crash yet. There we go, okay, I think we're good. I'll put that back up here. Make sure I can see the chat. There we go, okay. Whew. All right, so let's see. Let's see how we get a peach. I need a dark, dark orange color. I'm gonna take some red, or yellow ochre and some red. And this should be an orangish color. And then to that, I'm gonna add maybe a big blob of white. And that'll get me part of the way. And then I'll mix this in down here. Just mixing up a different, a few different shades of that, that color. There we go. That's kind of what I'm looking for here. All right, those three. So we're gonna take two inch, two and a half inch brush, sorry. And we're just gonna start throwing in some color. 
I'm starting at the bottom, which is interesting. Normally you start at the top, but for this one, I want it to kind of get darker, have a middle field where it's light, and then at the top will make it really dark. Maybe the horizon's right here. And we'll get lighter as we go up with these little X strokes. And at the top, I'm gonna take crimson and this color. Maybe a bit more crimson. Ooh, there we go. That's a color. That's a color right there. Pink. Maybe? I have no idea. And I'm gonna blend it right where they come together. Maybe a little bit lower. There we go. That's some sort of sky we got there. All right. Now I'm gonna clean this palette knife off. I might do a couple of clouds. I don't know. I want the focus to be on the sea stacks and the sea, not the not the sky so much. So I'm just gonna wipe this brush off here. Make sure I get that out. All right. And then we'll go back to the palette. And let's see. Let's see what we want. We want a purple color maybe. Let's take some red. Actually. For these clouds, I might be able to just do dark sienna, which is just a little bit of sienna and raw umber, maybe a little bit of black. Get that somewhat light and then grab some more white. Oh, that's a nice color for mountains, but that's not what I'm going for here. Maybe some more crimson. Ah, there it is. Okay. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna do some really broad, like, wisp, not wispy, just like tapping in. They're not really clouds, they're kind of like, maybe clouds, but not quite clouds. Can't really tell. And I'm just gonna blend them out. Something like this. That's what I'm going for. All right, so we got those. That's all I want. That's all I wanted for the clouds. Nothing, nothing fancy there. Okay. Now we're gonna paint in some C stacks, which are just really big boulders. Kind of mountains, kind of, kind of boulders. All right, so. I'm going to use this dark color I made here because it's actually quite a nice color. Grab some of that, grab some of that. Move this up there. And these ones are farther away, so we need to be a little dark, but not that light. So I'm going to add some black. Kind of a grayish color. It's still too dark. A little bit better. At least for these farther away ones, uh, farther away. So I'm, I think I'm just gonna do two. I'm gonna do one big one over here that's far away, and then one big one up close, and then a little bit of little bit of water towards the bottom there. So let's see. Let's see what a sea stack looks like. If anybody's seen a sea stack, let me know. I haven't. It's been a while since I've seen one. I haven't been to Oregon since I was I think in college. I went to. All right, and these are just big old columns. And I'm actually gonna do something different here. I'm gonna grab a playing card, because I don't wanna go too low. Playing cards are, <laughs> they're nice, because uh, you can just wipe them off once you're done. Maybe he comes out a little bit more there. All right. Maybe he's a little bit lower in the middle. Comes back up. There we go. And I'll wipe this guy off. These are just waterproof. I forget what brand they are. But you just wipe them off with a towel. Cleans them up. And then reuse them for next time. All right. So we got that nice background block there. I'm going to wipe this brush off. 
because right, right now if I highlight this, there's going to be too much, too much paint, too much paint to highlight it effectively. So I'm going to just pull it down. And this is a, this is just like a base color. It's not going to be the final color there. Maybe it comes down more in the middle. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Now he's got some shapes. He got some shapes. That's a nice boulder. That's what a. Uh, what movie is that? Shrek with the donkey. I like that boulder. That's a nice boulder. All right. So we got that color up there. We're going to take some. So we got that gray. I'm going to use this light one that I mixed up back there. And we're just going to do maybe over here. And this one's farther away, so it, it shouldn't have all the details. I might do two or three different ones of these. Maybe he comes out a little bit there in the middle. Again, very little detail. Pulling straight down, straight down on this boulder. Sometimes I move left and right to mix it up. But that's all I really want here. Something like that. And then I'm gonna take the old, let's see. Need some very dark color here in the back, but not super dark. I'm going to take some black and add it to that. Ooh, that's good. That's what I need. And this is going to be kind of the shadow. Shadow mountain color back here. Not too much is going on there. Maybe there's another little shadow here in the middle around that highlight. And I'm just scrubbing a little bit where it comes together to blend it out. And then we'll put another one maybe here in the middle. Ooh, there we go. And then some down there at the bottom. There we go. Nice little C stack. And now I'm gonna take, actually I could use this very bright yellow color that I used in the sky. I guess it's called peach. And I just want the very, very side of this. wherever the mountain kind of sticks out. Something like this. So maybe one there, maybe one there. Maybe at the very bottom, there's a little bump. He's highlighted, and then one right, right there. Something like this. And again, this is the one that's in the back. So I don't want them to be super highlighted. All right. Let's see, let's see. Oh, we wanna clean this maybe. One thing, I don't clean my brushes very often when I'm doing paintings, like normally. If I'm painting along with Bill Alexander or Bob Ross, I will, but if I'm just painting, I normally don't do it. I just wipe them off on paper towels. And I'm just kind of blending this out towards the bottom. All right, so we got that in there. Now we're going to do, do we want to do little waves? We want to save those. I'm trying to think would be the best way to approach this. I think I could do the next, the next C stack and get away with not putting in waves yet. But we'll see. We'll see how this goes. So this one's darker. He's going to have just straight brown, straight sienna. And then maybe another variant of that color over here that's just black with a little bit of that color. And this is gonna be what I use mostly. Get a little roll. And then you are the father of ASMR. Oh, thank you. Much appreciated. I don't, I still don't quite understand what ASMR is, but at least when I've watched it on Twitch, Again, some weird, very weird channels, but I'll take that as a compliment. I think that's a good thing. All right, we're just putting in this uh, closer up C stack here. I do have quite a bit of paint on this edge here. Sorry if the scraping on the canvas is too loud as well. All right, and then let's let's make him come out in front of this one. Ooh, now we're getting fancy. That's too fancy. We can't do fancy stuff here. Or maybe we can. I don't think it matters. All right, 
throw some darker paints here in the middle. I'm just gonna blend it out. And to blend it, I'm just doing little, little, little circles here and there. Something like this. Ooh, there we go. Look at that. That's a painting. Or that's a C stack, I should say. I need to clean up this gray color. Actually, I can use that gray color here. I got paint on my arm. That's no good. All right. I'm going to get my old two inch brush here again. <laughs> All right. We're going to pull down here. Just a little bit around the edges. I think that's good. Looks kind of like one of those uh, Mount Fuji heads, or Easter Island heads, <laughs> not Mount Fuji. Uh, it's late, it's late, I'll blame it on that. All right, so we're closer up. I actually really don't like these mountains that I did back here, or the, the highlight rather, on the back side. So I'm, just, I'm gonna blend them out even more with the Egbert. They're just too, uh, too sharp, I don't know. I don't know what the word is. The black stuck out too much for me. I didn't I didn't enjoy it. It didn't make me happy. So I'm gonna change it so it makes me happy. I'll do the same thing with this highlight. There we go. Something like that. I don't want them to be. This one should not have the more defined highlights. The one in front should have the more defined highlights. This one is just a He's just hanging out in the back. He's just having fun. He's not. He's not the focus. He's just chilling. There we go. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I'll take some of that highlight color and drop it in there. There we go. There we go. I like these shadows on rocks. Oh no! Did I just mess them up? Whoops! I hope not. All right. So the closer one, he's going to have all the details. So I'm going to take this brown, and I'm just going to start throwing in this brown brown highlight, or brown base color. And you probably won't be able to see it, because it is so dark. At least not on... You can't see it on that screen. <laughs> Maybe you can see it, I don't know. But it is a very dark brown color. And I'm just kind of putting it... I'm putting it on to make highlighting easier. Because if you just have a flat, like a flat paint, like if I just pulled the brush down and tried to highlight it, it would work. But I found that mine come out better when I put a color down first and then do highlights. So I might use all these colors here. Let's see, this is a gray color. Ooh, that looks interesting. I might use that here. In some spots, I don't know if I'd use it all over. Maybe I will. Just add some interesting colors. Hmm. I like that. That's nice. And maybe there's a little one back here. A little cove or something. Oops. All right, there we go. There we go. We got those. Rob Murray. Hello, Rob. How you doing? All right, now we're going to wipe these ones off. We're gonna grab, let's see, what color do we wanna throw in on top here? I want to throw in, let's see. So the light's maybe right here. It's hitting there, hitting there. So there might be a light in very bright spot in the middle, and then the top will be a little bit lighter brown. So to do that, I'm gonna take this into that crimson and Ooh, there we go. That's a good color. I think that's crimson and white. That's all that color was. Maybe some ochre. I'm going to put this up here at the top. This is going to be my, like, darker... I don't know what the word is. Darker highlight? Is that a word? <laughs> yeah. All right, darker highlight. I'm going to go with that. And it's just kind of sticking on random spots where the sun comes through and hits them. Maybe there's one back here. Something like that, and he's just a little bit, not too much. And 
now we got that, I'm going to take that peach color, maybe some more of that orange ochre. I'm going to take that, I'm going to highlight right where the sun I think should hit, right here. And you're saying that's not any more highlighted than the other one. And you're right, because I'm going to take this orange color first to give it some texture, and then I'm going to take the white and make it really bright. that there maybe just a little tiny bit and that probably looks exactly the same to everyone but we'll see we'll see all right so we got that and some white and we're gonna mix it up I'm gonna mix some more white up Ooh, there we go and I don't want straight white because that would look like snow and that would be weird but now we're gonna we're gonna spice them up that's where the sun's hitting right there and that's it. That's where he's hitting. Maybe one splash in the back. Just a little bit. How long do you paint? Some years? I've been painting since 2020, end of 2020. So December back then. So about almost two years. It'll be two years this December, I think. So it's been a while. I try to paint every day. Um, sometimes I don't just because, you know, life gets in the way, but all right, so we got these C stacks in there and now we're going to use, let's see, I think the C stacks are good. What do you guys think? I do want to blend out the bottoms just a tiny bit, just a little bit, something like that, not too much. All right. I think now we can start throwing in maybe some water, but I'm gonna need a lot of white for this. Maybe some liquid white. Let's do that. Let's use some liquid white. So we're gonna put that over here. I'm gonna use some blue. Maybe I'll use make this purple. If I throw some red in there. Is that weird? Red water? Pink water? I think I just splashed water everywhere. All right, actually, I am going to do that. I'm going to throw in straight crimson and some blue. I have purple water here. Could have done this first, but I didn't. You don't have to do everything in a specific order. You can paint however you want. That's the key. Just find a style that you like painting and do that. water and I got to bring it up a little bit for this guy because otherwise it looks like he's just floating all right that's good enough something like that all right now now we can go back to this color where we're we gonna put the waves where are we gonna put the waves what do you guys think uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe we have one actually back here that you can kind of see, and he's just kind of crashing. And he's just hanging out back there. That like pink color. Something like that. A little splash here and there. And then I really want, what I really want is on this guy I want splashes to be up all over this guy he's just he's just getting pummeled by the ocean something like that and then I'm gonna take some white maybe dull it we're brighten it up a little bit because I'm picking up some of that brown and we're just gonna put in I'm just doing a little rocking motion here nothing Looks like that. That's what I'm doing. So he's getting pummeled. He's getting pummeled by that wave. Where else do I want waves? We can add as many waves as we want here. I don't think it matters. Maybe it does. 
we're gonna let's just put one out front. I'm gonna need some more liquid light. Just a little bit. Might be using too much liquid light here, but that's okay. And he comes over, a little bow, and then he dug, tapers off there into the distance. Grab some of this white. Now we're gonna we're just gonna pull. I'll pull those back later, but we gotta do this little crashing here. Something like this. <laughs> it can be whatever you want. And you're like, you just ruined it. Maybe, maybe I did. I've also seen some people when they do these, they do like, uh, they take a really thin paint and then spray it on the, uh, hey, do you call this red color on the sky? Do I call it? How do you call this red color on the sky? Oh, uh, this sky color I think is just alizarin crimson. Or maybe, it, I'm trying to remember what I used. I think I used alizarin crimson in uh, dark sienna, like a dark brown. And then this background color here is peach. It's a uh, ochre white and a little bit of naphthol red. That's what I used. I'm just gonna come in here, kind of drop in some splashy looking things. And then I'm just gonna pull this down. Maybe the ocean's churning this way. And you're like, that looks horrible. That's the worst thing I've ever seen. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. I'm just blending this out here at the bottom. Maybe I'll put some sand there. All right. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll put some sand in. I feel like it's not highlighted well enough. Or maybe I didn't use a dark enough color. That's okay. This is, this is what practice is for. I also don't think I've ever highlighted or done an ocean wave coming from the right. I've always done them going to the left. So maybe that was my mistake here. <laughs> maybe. I'm just gonna blend this very, very lightly here. Looks like I got a chunk of something. That's no good. Get out of here, chunk of whatever. Whoa. What is that? I have no idea. Maybe it's a chunk of dried paint. Cause I have, I have, I think I mentioned, I've been having a lot of problems with these Lucas Berlin paints. They just don't, they just don't work out for me. All right, so I got a little, Little tiny palette knife here. And I'm just gonna kind of scrub this in around the bottom. I'm gonna do a couple colors here. So I'm gonna do this, use up the rest of this liquid wave color that I made here. And also if the mic cuts out at any time, let me know because I'm using a different uh, different battery pack here. <laughs> I was almost finished, but I had to get back into it. All right, I'm gonna pull this just straight to the right. If you want it to look like sand, you do that, do that uh, thing that I just did with the knife and pull straight down. All right, so we did that. All right, all right, all right, all right. here we go. Straight brown, maybe some ochre. Maybe some ochre and some brown. Maybe a little bit of both here and there. Tap, tap. <laughs> Does it matter? <laughs> maybe. Ooh. So now it looks like a sand, sandbar here at the bottom. Ooh, there we go, look at that. All right, and now I really want to clean a brush, but I don't want to also. We'll see, we'll see what we do. Should I clean the brush, should I not clean the brush? I think I'll just wipe them out. Best of both worlds. <laughs> it might matter, maybe it matters. All right, oh, I do need some titanium white if I'm gonna do this, so pardon me for one second. I'm using these little tiny tubes of uh, Lucas Berlin. I'm just trying to use them all up. I made a terrible, terrible mistake last year in August. Jerry's Artorama had a deal on 
they had a deal on paints. I just dropped this cap all the way back here. Oh my goodness. They had a deal on paints and it was, it was like $2, maybe less than $2 a tube. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy all these paints because I think I like them. And then I used them. I'm like, these are the worst paints I've ever used in my life. I'm never gonna use these again. And here I am, six, eight months later, still using them because I bought way too many of them. I'm just pulling down on that uh, brown color, make it look like sand. That's all, I, that's all I wanted to do. That was so much effort for doing that. Uh, what, a, what a silly person. All right, here we go. Last step, or maybe second to last step. Pull to the left. And then one more little knife, that white color. I'm gonna come in here. We're just gonna put some foam, foam on the beach. Because if you've been to the beach, there's foam. Always foam. Always foam on the beach. All right, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Are we done? Uh, I missed something. I know I missed something. What did I miss? I forgot to highlight the old, or do a little crash up on this guy. Very distant crash, but it's important because otherwise it looks weird. He's just got some waves. Maybe a little bigger one. There you go. Pull it down. Pull to the left. Not too far. Now we're getting to the other mountain. We don't want to ruin them. There we go. All right, all right. Are you going to sell it? Maybe? I don't know. I always... Listing stuff on Etsy is a huge pain. And to get anyone to buy stuff on Etsy, I have to charge, like, next to nothing. And then if I... Yeah, it's just a pain. I might list it. We'll see. We'll see. All right, wipe those off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sign it real quick. I'm gonna go grab the, uh, this is linseed oil. That's what I use for liquid clear. It's just raw linseed oil into the red. And then where are we gonna sign this? Maybe over here, a little tiny signature. All right, MWJ. And then I'll put the date, 22. Two, two. And if any of you want to paint this, go for it. Let me know that you did it so I can be happy that someone was inspired. <laughs> All right. Let's go back here, pull this down. Get paint all over my fingers. All right, here we go. This is the painting. I just call it Sea Stacks because I don't know what else to call it. Sea Stacks in Oregon. All right. Thanks everybody. I'm gonna set this down back there once we're done. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna call it at that. Thanks again for, for joining. I appreciate you. If you paint, let me know. I love encouraging other people to paint. So yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you next week.